So let's start to look how we can create a skill that has a absolute max of 100. For example, we have a percentage scale and we have here like 18%, but if I click on this, it will increase and it will hit 100, but it will not increase any further here. So to create a skill with a 100% at max, what we have to do here, first of all, is get a boiler template. The boiler template you can find here on this specific link, chartjs3.com, getting started. This link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're here, copy this boiler template. Next, if you want to support my channel and get the source code of this video and of many of my other videos, check out my Patreon page here, where you can get all the source codes. All right, what we're going to do is, we're going to scroll down here and we're going to play around with what we call the grace. And the grace gives us extra space between the top here of the bar and the very top of the chart area. So let's put that in there. So we're going to say here on the Y scale, grace, and let's say 10 points. And what will happen is it will basically add up here 10 points or, well, it depends on the segments here. So basically two segments are 10 points and then they will calculate this one as well. So this is all fine, but you can imagine if you have a 100% bar and let's say here now I have something with a 99. Save that, refresh. We have now here an excess of data and we don't want this because this doesn't make any sense if we have 100%. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that this will be removed and to do that we're going to scroll down here and basically we need to redraw after chart has drawn the entire item. So draw the entire chart. We need to redraw this and calculate if we are hitting the max of 100. So how do we do this? Well, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a new function and this function I can call our max scale. And then in this max scale here, we have the chart object and this chart object later on, we'll grab this from here. So then within here, what I want to do here now is basically figure out how we can get this information. Well, let's start to activate this function first by testing it here by saying console log and we're putting here the chart object. Of course, nothing happens yet because we need to activate the function as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this function name here and this here will be replaced with the my chart constant or object. If I save this right now, refresh, open up the developer tab, you can see here now we get all the details of our current chart. So what I want to do is I want to go into the skills here and then in here into the Y scale because that's the one we're, we're basically in and then look at the ticks here. And you can see here we have here a huge amount of information here but we can also grab it from the end here. And all we have to do now is to check are we hitting this end. So let's grab this specific value by doing the following. Let's see how we get there. We go there from, if I hover over you will see scales.y.end. So let's do that. So we say in the chart, we're going to say scales.y.end, save, and refresh. As you can see here, now we get the value of 120. And what I want to do now is to make a check. Are we hitting or are we above 100? Yes or no. And if we are, I want to change basically the grace and give this a value of zero. So how do we do this? Well, we're going to say here an if statement. We're going to say if the chart scale y end is larger or equal to 100. And the reason why is if it's 100, we don't want to have a grace as well. We just want to have it only if it's uh, in this case here. Only if the end would be 100 or, well, later on I'll show you, it probably makes more sense. So once we have this here, if this is true, in that case, I want to change the grace here and set it to zero because we don't want any more additional space. So I'm going to say here, how do we do that? We're going to get the chart.config.options. And if you're wondering why, well, we are here for my chart, which is basically the reference here. So that's the chart reference now from config. And then we go to options, scales, y, and then grace. And then we will set that um, the scales.y.grace. And we'll set that on zero or no grace area. Once we did that, I want to say here, chart dot update to draw the new item so then if i refresh as you can see here now it will work nicely there we are let's change this let's make this uh let's say 80 let's see what happens all right so we still get a grace if i make this 10 
there you are you can see it works all accordingly and if i do here 100 which is the ultimate max it will just hit that and that's it